So here's our fourth video on the Renaissance. This is our video on the Northern Renaissance. We've already learned a lot about the Italian Renaissance and why it began in Italy. There was a lot of money there because of its location. It was the center of trade. There was physical reminders with the ruins of ancient Rome there. And also there was competition between the city-states. Now for today's left side, you're gonna make a Venn diagram with four points in each. You are either gonna be comparing and contrasting your choice the Northern Renaissance with the Italian Renaissance, or Leonardo da Vinci with Albrecht Durer. You get an extra 10 homework points if you do both. Okay, so the Northern Renaissance. This is a little bit different than the Italian Renaissance, but you'll see a lot of similarities as well. We learned that the Italian Renaissance was inspired by humanism and classicism that returned to ancient Greece and Rome. However, the Northern Renaissance was a little bit different. They embraced Christianity more than, let's say, the Italian Renaissance did. The Northern Renaissance art also had realism like the Italian Renaissance. Um, they used more wood and less oil paints. You can feel free to pause those parts or check. This PowerPoint is in the barn. Here's an example. So you saw the light and shadowing there. You also saw that it was of a middle class person, which was different than the Italian Renaissance. So in this painting, you see so, similar to the Italian Renaissance, you see that geographical arrangement of figures, how it's like a triangle. So, you know, not all of the art was completely different just because it was not from Italy. Here, once again, you see the focus of individualism. This is almost like the Mona Lisa of the Northern Renaissance. But you also see the perspective at the one on the right. Now, France invaded many of the Italian city-states. And when they went there, they brought many of the Renaissance ideas back. Here's the school of Fontainebleau, okay, Germany. That was a painting, but here let's l learn a little bit about Albrecht Dürer. So he was an artist and a scholar. He wrote books on geometry, on military fortifications. He was a military engineer, just like da Vinci was. That's very famous. Here's another famous sketch of his hands. So you see it's of religious in nature. He also did lots of landscapes, which was more unique to the Northern Renaissance art. This is a woodcut. Once they made the printing press, they were able to put um, visual arts in the books by woodcuts and engravings. England, you don't see lots of the visual arts, but they had lots of architecture. So you see here the symmetry there's a bit of classicism if you look at the pillars on the bottom. Another um, architectural example from England, you'll see here next. And think of the circle and the dome and its use in Renaissance Italy. And you see that here again with these small domes. Right? The circle and the dome was so important to the Renaissance because they thought that was the perfect image. There was no beginning, no end. All right, so this video went really fast, and I can explain things more to you in class. However, you may want to watch this again and pause to do the Venn diagram, or just print out a PowerPoint in the barn. All right, see you next